dear learners today we will discuss about the topic mechanical properties of material to finalize the material for an engineering product or application it is important to understand the mechanical properties of the material the mechanical properties of a material are those which affect the mechanical strength and ability of a material to be molded in suitable shape some of the typical mechanical properties of material includes strength toughness hardness brittleness malleability ductility creep resilience and fatigue let's discuss the properties one by one first property is strength strength may be defined as the ability of a material to stand up to forces being applied without it bending breaking or deforming in any way materials which we finalize for our engineering product must have suitable mechanical strength to be capable to work under different mechanical forces or load let's take one example the man shown in the picture is standing and hitting like anything on the wood but the wood neither bended or breaked this shows the strength of that wood next property is elasticity it may be defined as the ability of a body to resist distorting influence or stress and to return to its original size and shape when the stress is removed it can also be defined as the property by virtue of which material regains its shape and size on removal of external load let's take one example the man is bending the object with some strength at the time it is pressed but when the pressure is taken away the object is in its original form another example of elasticity is rubber next property is plasticity the ability of a material to undergo irreversible or permanent deformation without breaking or rupturing this property is used for various processes of forging shaping rolling and forming
let's take one example as shown in picture when the object is pressed by two sides there is a change in shape and size and when the force was taken away the object was not in its original form it undergoes some deformation next property is ductility it is a property of a solid material which indicates that how easily a material gets deformed under tensile stress ductility is often categorized by the ability of material to get stretched into a wire by pulling or drawing this mechanical property is an also aspect of plasticity of material and it is temperature dependent with rise in temperature the ductility of material increases let's take one example as we see when the wire is drawn the thickness or the radius of that wire is less and the length is increased next property is malleability malleability is a property of solid which indicates that how easily a material gets deformed under compressive stress it is often categorized by the ability of material to be formed in the form of a thin sheet by hammering or rolling this mechanical property is also an aspect of plasticity of material malleability of material is also temperature dependent when rise in temperature the malleability of material increases let's see one example when the silver object is passed through the rollers the size and shape of the object is changed and it becomes a flat sheet next property is brittleness brittleness of a material indicates that how easily it gets fractured when it is subjected to a force or load when a brittle material is subjected to a stress it absorbs very less energy and gets fracture without significant strain brittleness is 
कॉन्वर्स टू डक्टिलिटी ऑफ मटेरियल ब्रिटलनेस ऑफ मटेरियल इज टेम्परेचर डिपेंडेंट सम मेटल्स विच आर डक्टाइल एट नॉर्मल टेम्परेचर बिकम्स ब्रिटल एट लो टेम्परेचर द डे टू डे लाइफ एग्जाम्पल ऑफ ब्रिटलनेस इज द चौक next property is toughness it is the ability of a material to absorb the energy and gets plastically deformed without fracturing for good toughness materials should have strength as well as ductility let's take one example the man hammering on metal sheet but the sheet neither be cracked or fractured next property is hardness the ability of a material to resist wear scratching abrasion cutting or indentation is called as hardness the man in the picture slides on the surface to check whether it is scratch proof or not this shows one of the property hardness of that floor next property is stiffness the resistance of a material to elastic deformation under the action of external load is called as stiffness the degree of stiffness is indicated by modules of elasticity in case of tensile stress and compressive stress and by the modulus of rigidity in case of shear stresses the picture shows different materials have different stiffnesses next property is fatigue fatigue is the weakening of material caused by the repeated loading of the material when a material is subjected to cyclic loading and loading greater than certain threshold value but much below the strength of material microscopic cracks begin to form 
at grain boundaries and interfaces eventually the crack reaches to a critical size this crack propagates suddenly and the structure gets fractured the shape of structure affects the fatigue very much let's take a look at a picture a cyclic load has been hammered on the pin to check its fatigue failure next property is creep creep is the property of material which indicates the tendency of material to move slowly and deform permanently under the influence of external mechanical stress it results due to long time exposure to large external mechanical stress within limit of yielding creep is more serve in material that are subjected to heat for long time as shown in the picture next property is resilience resilience is the ability of the material to absorb the energy when it is deformed elastically by applying stress and release the energy when stress is removed proof resilience is defined as the maximum energy that can be absorbed without permanent deformation